Hello, my name is Rich White with the Edison Project here at Greenbush, and I'm going to bring in a few uh, resources into a world here, show you as teachers how you might do some quick things. Uh, at Greenbush, we are working on lessons, formal lessons you can drag into a world and start to, to add to your, to your existing lessons. But um, I want to show you a few quick things here. Um, also know that at edusim3d.com you can go there and get updates on some uh, professional training and development uh, trainings we're going to offer here at Greenbush and then at your locations. Uh, we'll release formally that stuff in February, so stay tuned. But I want to show you some, some tips here, a couple, and I'm going to hit the light real fast. thing I'm going to do here is drag in a few pictures and show you one how to apply a picture to a cube item um, rather than just keeping your image out there you can you can add it to a cube item and I'm going to show you how to copy the texture and do that then the next thing I want to do is uh, show you how you can do some rough drawing tracing around an object say if you have a, a, a part of your lesson where you want to put some things together so I'm going to do that just drag in both of our pictures here real fast um, that we'll use, and that we'll use. This lesson involves frogs, so here's what we'll do here. Okay, now if I want to apply this texture to a cube, I'll just do new and cube. There's my cube. I'm going to go ahead and blow this up full screen. I don't need to drag anything else in yet. So here we go. Here's this. Now I'll simply just uh, copy this texture. Copy material. It should be right mouse clicking if you're on a Promethean. It's this button. It's uh, your button and holding over the, the, ob the image. If you're on a smart board, you would just put your finger on the on the uh, image and in about two seconds it'll bring up this little menu here and all I'm doing is I'm bringing up that menu and selecting copy material then I'm coming over to my cube here and I'm hovering back over it and then on the Promethean I'm clicking this button and paste and now I can toss this image uh, one thing it does do is it puts it sideways sometimes, so I can just, uh, you know, straighten it back out. So, um, now we've got this object here, and we are wanting to create something that can kind of be put together, taken apart. We'll bring up T Painter here. We'll want to make this transparent, and that's done through this scroll bar up here at the top. I'll just grab that and I'll slide it over, and it made it transparent. One thing I want to do is get a better look on this, though, so I'm going to do this. Okay, select my colors here, and uh, really the concept is we've got this transparent, we're putting it over the uh, object, and we're going to trace the parts we want. I got here very rough but you can kind of see you know I've got parts so the kids could come up and you know they've got their their model here and now that I've got this I can either keep this as part of the lesson because it does name the parts or I can you know keep it as uh, as the thing that as the part of the lesson where the kids will you know take the leg you know put the frog together basically <laughs> So 
So let me know how you're using this, edusim3d.com. Email me, rich.white at greenbush.org, and uh, I'll, I'll keep doing some tips and stuff here.